morning, everybody. I know the lighting is weird. Hold on. It is Sunday morning. It's like 8.32 a.m. or something. Um, the lighting is weird, even with my lights on. It's a overcast day. Kind of looks like it's going to rain, but, you know, I do live in Oregon, so land of much water. Many bridges and no direct route to anywhere. Anyway, and if you don't think that's true or I'm making fun, I am making fun, but it is true. It must be the cat. I just heard the ring. So interesting. Um, my computer is, appears is slowly but surely coming back into itself. Um, I'm down from 144 files of information to two, which I didn't want to delete. There were three. I didn't want to delete them. I kept getting error messages, um, but I deleted what it will, and then I'm going back and trying again, and it deleted one. Cross your fingers. Yesterday, for no apparent reason, my car's alarm went off. It didn't appear anybody tried to break into the car. I didn't hit the alarm button. The keys were in the house in a drawer. It was going off for like five minutes or so. I heard it over the TV set. And I was like, what is that? And then we figured out it was my car alarm. Um, it doesn't want to delete one of them, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read that in a minute. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, so that was interesting. But today we're letting all that go. Um, we, uh, Bob's cabinets, I think, are finally going to get installed today. At least the ones we have feet for. Because hello, new age. He called you and said, you didn't send me the feet for one of the cabinets. Can you please send me the feet? You said, sure, we'll send you the feet. You send him a box of screws. Really? <sighs> anyway. All right. I'll be back. I'm going to unlock some things in the files to allow them to be deleted. Cross your fingers. We're down to the last two files. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then I need to do a bunch of updates because during the process, we had to update all the way to Catalina, which is the current um, operating system. And for those of you that are not Apple users. Um, that's like one, two, three, four operating systems in advance of the one I was using. So yeah, it's a bit different. <laughs> so, and apps and programs are going to have to be updated. I'll have to go through and see which ones will open and which ones won't. But I don't have to do all of that today. So yeah. Anyway, I kind of can't wait to turn my computer off, which I might do this afternoon, despite the fact that I need to format hard drives and like move things around and, you know, cause things that you do sometimes with a new operating system and not the main hard drive, external hard drives. I need to like move files around and arrange things so this doesn't happen again. Um, I'm not going to necessarily do it today. I might just let it go and do it tomorrow and turn the computer off or at least turn it off for this afternoon and then turn it back on later today. I don't know, but I think it needs to go off for a little while. All right. Oh my now. God, my trash can's empty in the computer. Yay, I'm so happy. Hold on, I got to tell the husband. <laughs> this time in like four days, my computer is turning off and it's going to stay that way. I do need to reset the screensaver, um, which I haven't done yet, and I forgot to do before. I got all excited, and I'm turning the computer off, but I made myself notes. I need to reset the screensaver and restore the defaults. I need to. Um, I need to take the two external drives I use for YouTube and move files around um, because the way they're formatted for the old operating system doesn't work with Catalina. Um, but my really big external hard drive has plenty of room on it. So I'm going to move all of the YouTube files to the big hard drive that it's fine with. I'm going to format the two small ones. I'm going to um, set up the teeny tiny one for Time Machine so that we don't have this issue again. And the other one will just be YouTube. And it's off. And it's going to stay that way probably for the day. 
I'm so happy. Yay. Now I can focus on other things. I'm definitely the obsessive type and I really have trouble getting past something that's bothering me until it's resolved and moving on to the next thing. I can't just like let it go. I just can't do it. I, I have, I don't let go well. So, <laughs> especially when not with computer things. I mean, you know, so anyway, yes, I'm so happy. I'm Bob. Something else went right this week. We got Fred's garage put back together. The cabinets are empty, but just give us a week or so. We'll, put every, we'll fill we'll, them up. We'll fill them up. But don't that look pretty? It's got this cabinet. It's nice, right? Everything's bolted. Everything's Everything. bolted. We have to do some work to the electrical outlets. My dad's going to come back for that. Thankfully, he's an electrician. So, you know, that comes in handy. That's because we had to drill holes. We had to carve out where the electrical outlet is. Yeah, so we need a deeper outlet. So it will, the plate will fit in front of the slat wall right here, right here. Yeah. So, but we'll get that done. But what we have done looks really good. Yeah. yeah. So we're happy. Plus my computer is fixed. So, you know, it's all, it's a good Sunday. Good Sunday. Yeah. So I think we're going to take a break now. I think for Fred, it might be drink time. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. So we'll be. Hey back. guys. Good morning. It is 834 AM Monday, August 31st. Don't get excited, I looked it up. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm in the car. I am needing to, I don't think you can see it this time. No, I don't think you can. But the back of my car is full of cardboard again. Not quite as high as the ceiling this time, but it's pretty full. So we're gonna go take the cardboard over to the disposal. And if Dollar Tree is open, I'm gonna stop at Dollar Tree on the way home. I discovered this weekend when we were putting the cabinets together and um, Bob got cut, my dad got cut. <laughs> I got my finger pinched between a couple of cabinet pieces and I have a blood, big blood blister on the end of my finger that then popped last night. So we have band-aids, obviously. <laughs> um, they're not all rainbow, but I mean, hello, if I'm gonna wear a band-aid. Um, but we don't have lots of other first aid supplies in the kit. We have like band-aids and anti-itch cream, like cortisone cream. Not that, not that kind of itching. Hello, clean up your mind a little bit. Like cortisone, like, uh, poison oak itchy cream. But we don't have like first aid ointment. We don't have alcohol wipes, like, so we need to get some of that. And so I'm, I might, um, if Dollar Tree is open, I'll stop over there and pick up some things for the first aid kit. So those are my two things today. And while that's working, I'm working on the second to last chunk of things I need to do to fix my computer. So when I upgraded the operating system, then it didn't like the way two of the three external hard drives are formatted. So. I am in the process of copying files and then formatting the drive and then putting stuff back and like I'm going to do one of the drives then I'm going to do this week's writing and edit the vlog and get that loaded. Hopefully all of that goes smoothly and I can get it all done today and then tomorrow I'll work on the other drive. I may not be doing a live this week and I may need to put out a little video or a notice saying that we're not doing a live this week because of my computer issues. Although it's being fixed, I'm still not quite there yet. So, and when I do do a live, um, it, it's probably not gonna be tomorrow and it might just be a little test live. So yeah, 
we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm gonna get myself on the road and get this cardboard dropped off and I'll be back. Guys, it's definitely been one of those weeks where my brain is overtaxed with computer issues and I just can't think straight to be honest with you. But, so, so my point to that is that I don't remember what I've said and not said, but I do know I've told you about the computer issues because I just watched last week, week's vlog, which is rendering. Um, because I think we got all the computer issues fixed. We were also able to confirm with Apple because they have a cool little feature I didn't know about that will scan your system for potential hardware issues. It's not a hardware issue. I was right, they were right, it's a software issue. It's 10.37 a.m. Tuesday, September 1st. And other than showing you making my morning coffee, which I don't have my coffee that way every day, FYI. And if I um, do have that kind of coffee, I just have one cup um, because of the extra syrup and things in it. Anyway, um, but yeah, uh, homemade white chocolate lavender mocha. Yummy. Um, and anyway, other than showing you how I make my coffee, I don't think I've vlogged yet today. I'm still working on the rock and the blood blister. This is today's band-aid. Yesterday I didn't take a picture of the band-aid, but I had, um, a rainbow band-aid. Day before that was rainbow unicorn. Today's yellow balloons. Yellow with balloons. Um, anyway, if you're gonna have to wear a band-aid, you might as well wear a fun one, right? I, um, got... So, fun fact. I don't know, I know I've shared this before, but I don't know if y'all have seen it recently. This is my work notebook. So it has business goals, notes for different classes, product development, um, vendor notes, all kinds of stuff, computer notes. So um, once I've gotten my computer fixed, I made some notes about what I did and why I did it and some stuff that they sent me, I printed and taped into here and I also, um, made a section for an upcoming class. I'm not gonna mention, but it comes up next month um, on the 8th. There's a video on my YouTube channel, so watch for that. Um, anyway, I sat down and finally did the notes for it and put it in here and I got that all done this morning. And then I'm gonna work on black paper doodles. This is what's already on the opposite page. Um, and I'm doing all of that while I'm sitting in front of the computer, moving files back around because now that everything's fixed I need to spread the files out a little bit because they're clogging up one of the external hard drives. And um, yeah, I need it. I need to spread it out so I have room on the drives and things make more sense. So anyway, what are you gonna do, right? All right, that's it for the moment. I am going to keep moving files around and listening to some music. I've got Pandora playing and um, make doing some drawings and get finally getting some art done. It's been like a week that I've done anything more than daily drawing. So I'm gonna work in my black paper doodle book and I'm gonna also work in this 
I have a Strathmore toned tan sketchbook that I've been working in. This one, if you've seen those pictures on social media. So I'm gonna be working in both of those today. And yeah, what are you up to? I'd love to know. Put something in the comments below. All right, I'll be back. pretty and so peaceful. It's a good thing. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, September 2nd. And it's, I don't know what time it is. Hold on. Let's see. Um, 9.39 a.m. I've been up for a bit, of course. I've been on the computer. Um, put a mask on my face and took my time taking a shower. It's going to be hot today, so I've got the little fan up here blowing some cool in from the cool air in from the woods and contemplating some things up here in the art room so when i first um, realized i was moving from california um, to oregon and um, setting up a new art space i really thought that i wanted to take four of these little mini clipboards and set up a sort of a easily um, changeable mood board somewhere in the art space. The idea being that each one of these clipboards would hold sort of a picture or series of pictures, um, colors, other things that are inspirational for me um, up here somewhere in the art room and I could periodically change them when I'm no longer being inspired by them. I'm kind of really, I never put them up um, but I'm kind of really wanting to do that now. Ideally, I would do it here, except that I really like the way this looks and turned out. I did try like moving things and maybe putting them in the middle here. I'm not like keen on that. I love the way it looks. So I'm just looking around the art room thinking, what else do I have hanging up that could maybe be moved where I can do it? I am thinking, Maybe some of this artwork here could be moved and the four clipboards could be right here. That is a possibility. So I think I'll be working on that today. Of course, I'll probably film some of it for you all, but we'll see. Um, I also was inspired by one of the members over in the Slow Stitch Facebook group who made a little slow stitched bird's nest. It's so cute. Um, it's just adorable. So now I'm thinking, what about a slow stitched bowl that would kind of looks like a bird nest? So yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with that now. <laughs> so that's where my brain's out to at today. What about you? All right, I'm gonna get to it. I'll be back.
saw in the clip, we got the art inspiration boards done. We got the art rearranged that was on the wall. I didn't want to take any of it down permanently. I just rearranged it a little bit. Next thing we need to do is pull a couple of new positive affirmation cards. I haven't replaced this one in a while. And I found the little holder for a card on my computer desk in the, in the midst of all the computer chaos that I was having. I found the little holder that had been missing for a little bit. So I'm going to pull two cards. Today's cards are miraculous and peaceful. Two very good cards. So I'm going to put those out and on to the okay, next. Okay, now I need to clean this. Um, it smells really gross. I'm not sure how long these brushes have been sitting in the water. At least two weeks, but I bet you it's been longer than that. Yeah. So, I think I'll do this before I eat lunch. Yeah. Instead of after. <laughs> Just in case. Alright, I'll be okay. back. We're going to go for another lunchtime walk. It's supposed to be in the low 90s today. <clears throat> Usually here where we live, we get to peak temperature at around four o'clock or so. So I've got a little bit yet. It's only about 82 outside right now. So I've got a mask just in case. Uh, I'm going to turn on some music. I'll take some pictures where I can and we'll go get some steps in. Bob is working. It's like 9.41 a.m. Thursday, September 3rd, maybe, I think. Anyway, I know it's Thursday. I'm out for an early morning walk. It's supposed to be really hot for the next week or so. It is Friday morning. It's 10.09 a.m. Friday, September 4th. Don't get excited. You should know my response to that already. I'm looking at the computer. Hello. <laughs> I was just catching up on social media and the Facebook art groups and all of that jazz stuff that happened overnight, welcoming new members and all of, all of that stuff, the things for the things. I have, of course, projects on the table I need to work on, but Bob is off starting today through all through next week. He's taken some time off. He's got lots of PTO. Of course, because of the pandemic, we can't go anywhere. We were planning on doing some traveling, but you know, that's not happening. Anyway, we're gonna use, um, sorry, that's a funny uh, social media name. Anyway, um, <laughs> We are going to use the time to put his art, uh, garage, I almost said art room, <laughs> um, his garage back together and um, all of that stuff, some projects around the house, probably a couple of day trips, you know, car rides um, where we don't really get out of the car much um, and we just do sort of a safe day trip, avoid crowds, but yeah. Um, First, we're going to go to the grocery store and we need to mail something at the post office. So we're going to do that today. I'm getting this nice, really big wrinkle right across the center of my forehead. <sighs> what are you going to do? Anyway, we're going to do all that today first. And um, it's going to be really hot for the next week. So we will probably be spending a lot of time in air conditioning, whether in the car or in the house. Uh, yeah, and we if we get walks in, it'll probably be early morning walks when it before it gets really blasting outside. So anyway, we're going to go get all that done. I'll bring you with us where I can, and I will be back.
morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning, September 5th, I think. I think it's the 5th. Um, oh, and I don't think it's morning. I think it's just afternoon. I take that back. I think it's like 12, 20 or something. Anyway, we're going to head out for a minute. I'm just checking out the computer really quick. Okay, it took three Apple technicians and a couple of hours, but we figured out what the problem was with my mail app. Again, just a software issue. It's not a hardware issue, but it's all fixed. And we got a, went to the hardware store and I picked up a pot for my new plant that Sarah gave me. Sarah Ruffner, our favorite realtor. Thank you, Sarah. And um, got that repotted, watered the house plants. We got sandwiches from Jersey Mike's while we were out, chicken, bacon, ranch, love it. Holy cow, I'm full now. I am not gonna want dinner. Boy. Got some stuff from, I think, Teespring, some samples. So we're gonna take those back in the house and open them up and see what's up. Okay, I'll be so I was right. Samples from Teespring. So we got some masks. So this is one. And then we have this one. This is gonna be fun one-handed. There is a little like paper tag. I would cut that off read it and see what's on it and then, then cut it off but here's the other one and then here's the last one these are all available in my teespring shop and that's in the video description and if you can't find it in every video description is my link tree list of links click on the link tree link with my name on it and you'll find a list of links where i'm at including teespring but anyway yeah Three new masks designs um, available right now. And these are made really nicely. Um, I only did the three because they were the three designs I have currently in the shop that I thought suited the mask best without distorting the artwork. So, as my daughter would say. Anyway, it's all good. On to hey the guys. guys. Up in the art room. Checking to see if I remember to turn that off. Looks like I did. <laughs> and do you see that? Yeah. Is anybody else having issues with <laughs> uh, what I'm affectionately calling Corona brain? I mean, I'm not the most, um, I don't know how to word it. See, I, I'm, I'm generally speaking a bit forgetful. I mean, you know, I'm not young anymore and I'm usually distracted if you read, um, Conversations with my muse over in a life of art and self-expression. You understand that conversation? Um, but with corona and stress that surrounds that and the current life and world situation, I'm extra forgetful. Um, during the process with my computer, which seems to be all fixed now, every now and then I run into an app that's like a problem. Today it was the mail app and the messaging app. Got it, did get them fixed, but... Um, updating to Catalina operating system. I was running El Capitan and for those who are Windows computer users, it's got like going from Windows 7 to Windows 10. And you know, most of the apps are okay, but some of them don't work well. And so I have to call and get help to fix it every time I find one, a new one that's broken. So anyway, in that process, I had to switch to the smaller keyboard, which comes with the Apple because I use a non-Apple keyboard generally, but it doesn't when you're having issues with the computer, you don't need to mess with the keyboard. So, you know, it did garner me more space on the keyboard stand to hold my notes and reminders and glasses. And I'm actually kind of liking that. So I might leave it that way for a while. I usually use a keyboard with a 10 key. Um, we'll see how it goes. I might, I might stick with this one for a bit. Anyway, um, it's been an <laughs> interesting week, right? Holy moly. All the weeks have been interesting since COVID started. Um, but I'm working on a lot of projects. I have a lot of different projects going, of course, at the same time. I'm going to be filming a few commitment videos for September that I need to do. And I'm working on one, two, three, four, five, six slow stitch products projects like at the same time there's a sneak peek um i also have some 
watercoloring I want to do and I found my old graphite pencil drawing kit from when I used to work at Michael's and the other day when I was going through some stuff and I'm toying with the idea of pulling that out and every day for like a month using it in a sketchbook and filling up the sketchbook and at the end of the month deciding if there's any of it all of it part of it I want to keep and if any of it all of it part of it needs to go away. I haven't literally haven't opened it years. I haven't taught Michaels in the, in three years, four years. I've lost track now, but yeah. So anyway, it's been interesting, but I hope that um, it's been a good one. It's been interesting, but it hasn't been horrible. And um, you know, that's kind of maybe the best we can hope for at the moment, but I'm good with it. I hope you're having a good, safe, fun, creative time. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If there's any specific content you'd like to see, let me know. Um, I do create a lot of stuff. I don't film it all for YouTube, but if you'd like me to do something in particular on camera, I can do that. And um, yeah, have a stay safe, stay creative, stay healthy. Um, check out the video description for ways to support the free content here and over in the Facebook art groups. There's lots of different ways. And there's a, a bunch of links in the video description, always. Um, one of them says Linktree and then my name. If you click on that, you're gonna find all the places I am on the internet. Now I'm in the process of rebranding, so there's fewer places than I used to be, but those places that we do have are better than ever, I think. So watch out for a few changes. If you have any questions about something you can't find, let me know. And yeah, it's going to be fun. If you have a favorite creative here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, they probably have a way that you can support them too. So I'd recommend checking it out. And if you can't figure out what that uh, way is, ask them. And uh, yeah, let's spread the love and show our support. Remember to smile at those essential workers. They're getting a hard time. And um, let's thank them for their service. Because, you know, without them, where would we all be? Right? All right. That's it for today. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.